It's uh, Friday on the 28th in the Asian trading session towards the opening of European sessions. And this is a live market of the uh, cross rate on the Euro pound on a daily basis, including that of the Euro dollar on a monthly and a sterling pound on a monthly itself. However, this live market would indicate that the prices on the cable is at 1.6123 after making a correction here from a high of 1.6306, which so happens to be nearly a double top price level on cable where it already retrieved and working at the current price level. And looking at it on the euro in comparison, it is working at the 132.46 level. A slight correction, although it is still on a higher trend with a high at 1.3307. Naturally, after penetrating the resistance channel of 1.3068, that particular high of 1.3307 would have to retrieve or pull back a little lower for a corrective move for the month. Looking at it also on a daily basis, it is more on both currencies since the increment here are much smaller. What we can do is try to do a reduction on the scale so it would at least be more viewable as far as increments is concerned and the struggle between the uh, buyers and sellers in the cable with a high of 1.6201 and a low of 1.6065 which is barely the support level here at the 1.6063 or 69 rather where we would be able to look at a slight recovery of cable whereas working at the 1.6124 level the obvious volatility level of the market here looking at it on a weekly basis where prices has moved tremendously higher and lower where the volatility index has decreased and the uncertainty for the uh, some analysts in the market has viewed this more of a price reversal including that on the uh, euro where the high of 1.3282 as some analysts have claimed that this is already a completion of the wave. However, we do think otherwise and that the particular currency on the euro is more susceptible for continuing the higher trend towards the opening of the new year. Although we think uh, that the euro pound cross rate has more potential for the prices to continue higher. However, since the prices here have reached our initial target level, which already did at 0 0.8180 and with a high at one point at 0 0.8223 uh, session to session pullback towards the low side would still be in the making however like we have mentioned in our market view report dated December 17th where we have taken this but two particular positions let's see if we can get it here covering on December 13th with both longs 
with three contracts on the euro pound first at 0 0.8106 and 0 0.8118 and currently working at the price level as you could see at 0 0.8215 which is a slight session to session correction since the current market conditions now would be turning over Asia to Europe trading and we would normally consider liquidation partial liquidation of these positions uh, with our other account as well since we're trading a smaller account based on a small scale level and our other account would have been trading more of a bigger size number of contracts and amount based on the kind of trading strategies that we have been applying to and currently we would be liquidating partially these positions but we would rather be leaving at least one or two contracts um, simply because to carry out an end of the year opening position for the cross rate but we would be uh, cashing in most of our contracts now where we normally would be taking out more on the second position but instead of a modified order you could see here that because of the uh, the uh, fifth decimal point the correction here on the high and on the low side would look like that it's still moving lower but instead of doing a type of order on a modified pending we normally would do an execution a market execution closing this particular position but however closing all three would be ideal like so and liquidation at 0 0.8118 at 82.15 is all right as you could see that this has been done and we will be leaving this one and be liquidating it slightly towards the opening or towards the middle of the European session now depending on market conditions towards the North American sessions we would be considering liquidating these positions and uh, looking at it on the conditions where we are holding the lowest price level on this particular account and would be moving towards the second account where prices are more competitive much lower than the price level here However, on a weekly basis, we would like to show you that prior to that particular penetration on the monthly chart of the euro pound, the weekly has shown that there was a signal, a false signal of a double top formation where the corresponding 0 0.8145 needed to be penetrated for it to be considered a bull with a high breaking the high of the previous 0 0.8167 and with that follow through here for the weekly currently working at 0 0.8216 there is still room to continue to the extension channel extension at 0 0.8305 However, because of the short trading week and towards the holiday, New Year holiday, we would be looking at next year's opening trading week to be more volatile uh, simply because of that this has been now penetrated and within a solid rising channel that the euro pound cross rate is trending higher 
so it makes more logical reason for us to be trailing an order and also leaving an order from the breaking point and see how far the market potential would be but cashing in more of what we already have is just appropriate or proper proper rather simply because we're practicing due diligence and following our trading outlook the market will always be there as we claim and looking at it now on a monthly basis like we have said 8260 is the ideal we're looking at between 8220 and 8280 as we have indicated in our market view report which you could see and review in our website now with this account on the euro pound um, the daily chart we have a similar position on the euro pound cross rates on the long side however the price difference has been initiated more on a trail order on the way higher where we have taken the initial positions contrary to the euro as well as the cable here which is on a monthly basis that we have uh, shown you earlier but however on the 12th of December the initial long that we have taken was the 8083 we were targeting the 8020 level but however it was more of an abrupt and there was no confirmation for an up move during this time However, the only thing that most of the uh, traders' mindset was basically focused on what uh, Mario Draghi have said as far as uh, reduction of the rates uh, in Europe. But however, this particular two bar formations is more of an exhaustion on the way down. And we have treated this as a bull trap for buyers who have been long on the euro pound like us. But however, we have taken the initiative of moving a trail order on the 12th at the 80 here, 80, 83, which was on the confirmation. The day after, which was on the which was on the 13th. Subsequently, at the higher price of 8100 here, which is actually more or less the bottom price of this level of this bar and subsequently with a lesser on the 20th with a lesser uh, contract size of three we have taken another long position at 0 0.8146 and although the swaps have been good barely enough for the day on the 21st we've taken and tested the market with a pound long on the pound with only two contracts simply to offset the um, third position if in case all all these three would be averaged would be averaged and the pound would be able to offset part of that particular uh, price level with the third position this strategy has been applied although here that you would see that this particular level there was a pullback on the 17th and a subsequent equal or engulfing bar that engulfed this previous bar with a low of 0 0.8110 or 11 and a pullback here would have confused traders to short the market simply because of this weak 
meaning to say the shadow of the longer tail higher, would have proved that there were liquidations along the way simply because most of the trailing orders here on the euro were simply shorts starting from the 1.2750 to the let's see if we can get it here from the 127.50 here level all the way to the 132.50 level however as you would see that the trend for the euro has been a solid higher move higher movement where drawbacks on the pound here and still above the 1.6041 moving average and resting right smack on the medium medium term support at 1.6065 and working currently right now at the 1.61 18 level and slightly recovering from that particular low well above the moving average of 160.41 the uh, stochastics here is still positive with a positive breath on the Williams percentage and uh, obviously the um, although the momentum here on the pound has diminished slightly however it is way below the overbought situation including that of the euro with that particular slight correction so the prices right now is at 0 0.8220 slightly higher on our liquidation but remember that we did leave at least one current position prior to considering liquidation for the end of the year's trading and we're also considering liquidating part of this where we would be looking at even if we do have a small negative here this particular position tests the market uh, strength of the market the strength of the market rather and uh, would be a testing ground for the pound to slightly continue higher higher than the previous low and there is a possibility that it can still go higher uh, subsequently even if the euro pound here is buying euro selling the pound while we're con we counter, counter trade on a long side of the trade for the pound here would be good since because the low of 1.6065 is intact well within the rising channel alongside with the euro let's see on a daily basis here where we could see that the uh, continuation of the high at 132.56 attempting a retest of the previous 1.32947 say 95 will then be penetrated prior to opening of the European and North American trading sessions the advantage of uh, considering liquidation or even entry in the market would be going in or out of the market where prices are actually in between trading sessions while volatility although it has increased but the rapid uh, price action is quite minimal although it's uh, trending higher at 0 0.8283 we're considering taking out some of our position instead of taking the lowest we'll be taking out the third position although like I said the average price of this particular three positions is much greater than that and the difference of which is quite lucrative so we're not actually uh, looking at uh, much more than our um, trading plan that we have initiated and liquidating in part based on our trade plan at 0 0.8220 has been met 
So we would be cashing in part of this uh, three positions and be holding some towards the um, end of the trading week, which is basically the end of the trading month. However, any market spooks towards the fiscal cliff, whether good or bad, what is quite important is the market will always be there. Now, considering the prices here, looking at it again, we'll be considering taking out the 0.8146 level and a partial of the um, 81 even on this level where we will be taking out at least an equivalent of five contracts in between and leaving out since the uh, pound here is slightly moving on the higher side resting on the support although like I said 1.6065 is a good support and the particular moving average of 1.6040 if it does then simply liquidation of the long position would be proper and still have a net positive effect on the pound and the euro pound overall net positioning so here we can take out the 8146 level don't be confused with the um, tick uh, from uh, tick prices here on the left hand side simply because um, brokers do have to make their money as well as banks where the spreads are concerned we have made our money based on our position and closing it out here would be more logical although it's already at 25 23 25 and 2 6 as the fifth decimal point take it out on a market order and we have been out at 0 0.8223 which is quite substantial based on our 8146 level not too bad and looking at here on the 0 0.81 but we shall be leaving behind the um, 0 0.8083 towards the European and North American session along the way so at this point in time we'll be taking out um, since here it's a modified order we'll replace it with an execution change it into two contracts leaving behind three at 25 level executing it now out at 0 0.8222 with a substantial 122 pips which is quite okay. all right so now we have two and three to even it out we can take uh no not this one this one stays three we've got three here at 81 we've got five here at 8083 and way maximizing the uh, euro pound cross rate at this time although we have made quite a substantial uh, trading will be liquidating again later on as we move forward and likewise the advantage of being able to take action on and not basically having to move head on with the market or a rapid action market the advantage here is that you would be able to get in before everybody gets in or otherwise be able to get out prior to everyone else moving at the same time so the execution of prices between the spreads are not as rapid and wide even if the spreads are almost uh, in between 
one to two pips per side of the order rather than looking at it more of a calm and decisive manner of placing an order prior to any market report because the market will always be there the opportunities will always be there so it's just a matter of being able to take advantage of where prices are follow the trade plans that we have and even if prices do give a corrective move like we said it's always be good that prices would be on the way down on a liquidation but cashing in on the way up partial uh, settlements of other contracts would be more logical and appropriate because market would always be moving unexpectedly when you least expect the market to move and any price lower from the liquidation price that you've settled your positions basically once you re-enter a position much lower than your liquidation price the logic there would be a continuation of your original positions in the market once you decide to enter long again at a certain point in time now with the uh, North American and European trading sessions open the uh, corrective move on the euro pound working at 0 0.8193 with the low at the 0 0.8185 which is slightly above uh, yesterday's low of 0 0.8183 while the uh, euro has made a low at 1.3176 currently influenced by the um, worries that uh, the fiscal cliff would not push be able to push through other than that the recovery for the US dollar index uh, currently working at 79.86 uh, level we are looking at the resistance price level of 79.85 to 80.05 on the correction prompting the uh, euro to move slightly lower and this corrective move now on the way down uh, would be an would be a good average price exit for settlement where we were able to get a high price of 0 0.82 uh, 20 and 0 0.8195 and uh, right now the um, moving average basically values at 0 0.8168 would be the initial target for the down move now however as we have made mention that uh, we would be liquidating these positions on the way down regardless where the subsequent um, trend higher although it's a corrective move any price that we would be getting out of the market and the prices to move or to continue lower would be a good re-entry on a later date after the new year so we would be book squaring our um, positions now and move forward to liquidating our current positions although we're really quite tempted to leave at least one just for the heck of it but um, like we have made mention we are more towards the following our due diligence and trade plan so currently we'll be liquidating here at the 92 level which is not too bad okay and um, the uh, pound at the 90 level 1992 level and including the at the night well again 
at the 0 0.8192. This concludes our um, trading for the year with apparently with a trade balance of 168.52.62, roughly around 60% uh, gain overall on all our trades. And um, at this point in time, we would be considering to move forward. And hopefully that this video helps everyone as far as booking a profitable trade and a loss naturally however these losses are basically there to be able to protect the gains that we have made cross trading and hedging percentage trades are the best in trading the foreign exchange market and hopefully like we have always said that only the best for your trades for the coming new year 2013 have a good day. Happy New Year.